Hi all, I'd like to welcome you to this course. So as the name says, Introduction to Deep Dark Web. In this course, we are going to learn about the deep dark web in detail. After the completion of this course, you will be able to access the deep dark web using Tor browser. And plus we are also going to explore the spooky side of the dark web. About dark web, it is said that you can find anything from missiles to hard assassins, from drug dealers to deadly hackers, literally anything. Well, shockingly, it is true. Okay, we will discuss about these things afterwards in detail. First of all, let me give you the overall summary of the whole course, like what points we are actually going to discuss. Okay, so as this is just a summary, we are going to get the overview of these topics, right? And of course, all topics will be again discussed in this course. So, what are we going to learn? What is deep dark web? Okay, in this topic, we'll be discussing in detail about the types of web, history of deep dark web contents of deep dark web and basically the theory portion of this course difference between the deep web and the dark web well we will discuss about the basic difference between both the webs and we'll also be discussing about the contents of each individual web like in deep deep web mainly contains records records such as health records mainly we can say that the deep web is the document section of the internet again this was just an overview we will be discussing in detail in the upcoming lectures tor browser okay in day-to-day -day life we mainly use browsers like google chrome mozilla firefox or in the case of mac users safari right but these browsers are only made to access the surface web to access the dark web we need a special browser known as tor browser the main advantage of tor browser is the anonymity factor which keeps the identity and several delicate data such as your location secured blockchain technology it's the way or method through which we can say that tor browser protects your privacy we will learn about it in detail in the upcoming lectures anonymity as i said earlier the main reason of using dark web is the anonymity factor it helps in many ways in short words it's like internet freedom which allows you to serve the dark web as a totally anonymous person Cryptocurrencies, also known as digital currency, on the dark web, any type of transaction is mainly performed in cryptocurrencies and in cryptocurrencies, mainly in bitcoins, as it keeps the anonymity factor secured, as the cryptocurrencies are difficult to track and trace. We will also learn about the transfer of cryptocurrencies as well, the methods to generate them like crypto mining or crypto trading will also be discussed. Surfing the deep dark web. Well, Surfing the deep dark web is very very dangerous and it is not by any means advisable but for the sake of this course we will be surfing the dark web. We will be visiting some weird websites and so on. Dangers and their prevention. As a deep dark web because of its anonymity factor is also known as the criminal's paradise we will be visiting or discussing some most important factors of your device safety while you are surfing the deep dark web. Again, all the topics that we just talk about will be discussed in detail and this was just an overview of them and it's totally okay if you don't understand what we discuss right now. Nevertheless, we are going to discuss them again. Before ending this lecture, I'd like to convey that surfing or visiting the deep dark web is totally legal. There's nothing illegal in it till you are of course not buying stuff like illegal weapons or drugs or any kind of illegal stuff from the deep dark web. You are good. Once again, thank you very much. I hope you learn something new, something innovative from this course. See you in the next lecture. Thank you very much. So in this lecture, we are going to learn the basics or we can say the theoretical part of this course. Okay. So as you can see on the screen, it's an iceberg, right? Well, for some time, let's imagine it as a diagram of the whole internet, like from top to bottom. So the tip of the iceberg, as it can be seen, we can denote it as the surface web. Thus, we can say that 5% of the whole internet is the surface web. Let's say we are on the surface of the water or sea, whatever. Okay. So from the surface, you can clearly see the surface web. That is the tip of the iceberg. We can partially see the mid section of the iceberg. That section can be denoted as the deep web. It can be said that 90% of the internet is the deep web. And there remains the end point of the iceberg or the darkest point which cannot be seen from the surface. This totally hidden point of the web 
or the internet can be denoted as the dark web. The dark web, same as the surface web, occupies 5% of the internet. In simple words, the visible part of the internet, hereby visible I mean easily accessible, so the easily accessible part of the internet is the surface web. The partially visible area can be called as a deep web and the totally dark or the hidden area of the internet can be called as a dark web. So the surface web is easily accessible by the browsers like Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Opera or Safari. We can find websites such as Amazon or YouTube, Wikipedia and even Facebook on the surface web. Talking about the deep web, we can say that the deep web is unindexed or in simple words, the deep web is not shown by any kind of browsers like Google. Deep web includes anything behind a paywall or requires sign-in credentials. It also includes any content that its owner have blocked web crawlers from indexing like medical records, fee-based content, membership websites, and confidential corporate web pages. So in short, the deep web cannot be directly accessed. It can be seen as a locked part of the internet. Unlike before taking a Netflix subscription, you are on the Netflix website located on the surface web. When you buy the subscription, you are given an email and a password which works as a giving you access to the Netflix data located on the deep web. Moving to the dark web section, we can say that the dark web is the subset of the deep web, which is intentionally hidden. It can be accessed only by using a specific browser, Tor. Actually, no one really knows the size of the dark web, but most estimates put it around 5% of the total internet. After briefly learning about the dark web, one question arises. Why do we actually need the dark web? What's the problem with the surface web? So, there are many points which can be considered as the answer of this question. We'll discuss some of them briefly. First of all, to understand the importance of the dark web, let's quickly talk about the history of the dark web. In computer network known as ARPANET, A-R-P-A-N-E-T, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, was developed in early 60s for better communication between computers. During the time of Cold War, the government started using it for security purposes, mainly dealing for arms. The biggest factor of security here was again anonymity. It was launched for public use in late 90s and due to the anonymity factor, it gained interest among people. It was mainly used for visiting a banned website or service in a particular state or a country. Like in some countries, Facebook is banned, but people can access the Facebook version on the dark web without being identified. Which takes us to our second point, internet freedom. While you are surfing the internet, there are possibilities that you are being tracked, even by the government sometimes. The websites you visit, your digital footprint is being tracked. Even Google tracks it, totally violating your privacy. Well, that's where the dark web comes. Total anonymity can, can give you full access, like right of thought or right of speech on the internet. The next point would be anonymity. The dark web keeps you totally anonymous. Your digital footprint or the transaction details cannot be tracked and that's super awesome what will you find on the dark web well sadly majority of the dark web is filled with illegal stuff you can buy credit card numbers all manners of drugs guns counterfeit money stolen subscription credentials hacked netflix accounts softwares that help you break into people's computers and many more you can easily buy login credentials of a fifty thousand dollars bank account in Bank of America for $500. You can get $3,000 in counterfeit $20 bills for $600 only. You can even buy 7 prepaid debit cards or even PayPal accounts each with $2,500 balance for $500. A lifetime Netflix premium account goes for $6. You can even hire hackers to attack computers for you. You can even buy fake identity cards like passports to create a completely new and unique ID of yourself. But majority of the service providers are scammers, so don't ever, ever fall for this. Plus this course is only for educational purposes, so I do not recommend anybody to go searching or opting for this type of services. On the positive side, not everything is illegal. The dark web also has a legitimate side. For example, you can join a chess club or a black book or even a social network described as the Facebook. Of tour. So guys, that's it for this lecture. See you in the next one. Thank you very much.
so in this lecture we are going to learn about the difference between the deep web and the dark web so first talking about the deep web first of all the deep web is totally unindexed as we discussed in the previous lecture the deep web cannot be accessed by any type of browser and it contains websites or services which are protected by a paywall or require sign in credentials storage space for the web yes the storage services offered by google or any other company like google drive or one drive store their data on the deep web this deep web is also known as the storage section of the internet it is also known as the boring section of the internet hmm think about it talking about the dark web first of all it is a subset or a part of deep, deep web intentionally the dark web is kept totally anonymous which is its best feature of course unlike deep web the dark web is unindexed but a special browser known as tor browser is required to access the dark web on the surface web you see many websites with different extensions like .com or .in or .au but all the websites which are indexed or listed on the dark web use the .onion extension which separates them from the websites listed on the surface web sadly due to the anonymity factor majority of the websites listed on the dark web are illegal or are just scams not all but majority of them well we are going to exp explore them in this course in the upcoming lectures so in the previous lectures we discussed about what are actually the types of webs and what are its constituents so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the most common myths related to the deep web and the dark web so let's get started so what are the most common myths about the deep web and the dark web let's see the dark web and the deep webs are the same things so yeah we can definitely say that the dark web is a subset of the deep web but we cannot say that both the deep and the dark webs are the same things because first point the deep web is totally unindexed whereas the dark web is indexed so the deep web requires some pay or credentials like an email and a password for instance password protected parts of the websites such as your email needs to be hidden so that nobody can google your email and have your inbox pop up right therefore certain pages need to be restricted from public access but we can say that the dark web is the part of the deep web but with extra layers of security of course the dark web's main purpose is to help criminals conduct illegal businesses due to the myths and misconceptions about the dark web it is commonly categorized as the criminal part of the internet where a huge group of criminals who conduct illegal businesses unchecked and without any fear however many people would be surprised to learn that the dark web has a larger and more important purpose for those living under oppressive countries with restricted or controlled internet access or for those who seek to be government whistleblowers the dark web allows them to publish their thoughts and surf the internet freely since special browsers you are used to access the dark web such as tor hide the ip addresses of their users journalists whistleblowers and the everyday person who simply wants to visit sites that are in their country may be blocked or or prohibited can do so without any fear of punishment and talking about the criminal side several government or private agencies like fbis are keeping constant track of this illegal activities on the dark web they are also monitoring certain suspicious websites and also have successfully banned many illegal services and websites it's illegal to access the dark web yeah if you were already on fbi watch list then maybe you shouldn't go to the dark web but for everyone else it isn't at all illegal to go on the dark web if you keep in mind some few points however even if you simply view some illegal content on the dark web keep in mind that you never know which websites the fbi is tracking so although you might be okay if you visit some of the darknet content you also might be exposing yourself to an undercover fbi sting tor only offers dark web service while tor has become synonymous with the dark web there are other services that exist as additional layers of anonymized traffic on the top of regular internet free net for one was invented as a censorship resistant publishing platform and uses peer to peer communication and a distributed data store to store the network resources and make it browsable another i2p made famous for its reference in the netflix show house of cards 
is another anonymity network that falls under the dark web definition on the top of that programmers have built another specific tools like open bazaar a decentralized marketplace much like tor's famous silk road that is unable to be taken down by the police due to its design what is silk road well it was a very famous drug selling website we can say on the dark net which was recently shut down by the fbi everything on the dark net is bad or illegal according to how it is portrayed in the media the dark web is not solely dedicated to criminal or illegal activities therefore however a basis on the basis of truth it can be said that around 50% of the website hosted on the dark web that is dot onion websites that is tor url suffix that signifies a tor hidden service are in some way linked to illegal goods and services an idea for a secret network and accessible to the regular users was received in the 1990s to provide us operatives with a secure and untraceable channel of communication when the project was abandoned researchers saw the potential for a completely anonymous network to grant freedom of speech and secure communications to political dissidents in the opposite re- opposite regimes human rights and privacy activities notoriously wikileaks hosted a tor hidden service where whistleblowers can make anonymous submissions even the new york times facebook and the cia have their own tor hidden services recently even the bbc has launched its dark web version which makes the website available even in regions where there is strict censorship thank you guys that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the tor browser and how it works see you there thank you very much what is tor so as we know google is one of the web browser used for accessing the surface web similarly the tor browser is used to access the dark web hmm then why can't we use google to access the dark web because the tor browser anonymizes the web traffic using the tor network making it super safe and easy to protect your identity online actually as you can see on the screen the logo of tor browser is an onion right well it's because the onion symbolizes the multi layer protection which is provided by tor tor completely hides your identity your ip address as well as the location from where you are accessing the dark web whereas due to this multi layer protection browsing the deep dark web through tor may be slower as compared to accessing the surface web or the clear net using various other browsers tor is also illegal in several countries that want to prevent its citizens from reading publishing or communicating anonymously journalists around the world have made tor a hub for several type of news which the government does not want to be disclosed several news related to corruption and sensitive topics can also be found on the browser due to which the governments are working to break the tor anonymity properties while on the other hand researchers are on hard work improving it Tor browser is also available for Android and iOS. In Android you can find it as Orbot or Orbox O R B O X easily from Play Store and in the case of iOS you can find an in browser from the App Store. So how exactly Tor works? Tor keeps its users anonymous using the blockchain technology. Blockchain technology is also used in transfer of digital currencies like bitcoins to make transactions untraceable. So as you can see in the diagram let's say Alice is trying to open the Tor browser so first of all Alice device gets the dictionary or directory of all the available Tor nodes from a server right so Tor officially has no devices or servers but several volunteers all around the world have provided their device as Tor servers which helps Tor create more protection walls as it improves the browsing speed So after Alice device gets the list of all available Tor nodes the Tor client picks a random path to the design server and at the each node at the end of each node the signal is encrypted as you can see in the diagram the green lines are the encrypted lines wherever the red lines are not encrypted so the Tor client of Alice picks a random path through Tor nodes encrypts each signal at the junction and finally reaches the desired server that is in this case bob again when alice visits another site or request any kind of service 
the tor client will again pick a random path through the tor nodes encrypt each signal at each node and then reaches the desired server which is in this case jane so you see there are many phases of encryption between the client and the server which makes the hacker or any third person party nearly impossible to trace thank you that's all for that's it for this lecture hope you learned about how the tor browser works in the next lecture we are going to learn about tails another secure way to protect your privacy thank you very much see you there in this lecture we are going to learn about tails tails is an another way to protect your privacy and it's my personal favorite and it's the best so what is tails the full form of tails is the amnesiac incognito live system the tails is an operating system built using linux and it mainly uses tor to send any kind of traffic it has almost all tools of the dark web pre installed and can be used on a usb drive or a dvd drive on any computer and when it is ejected it deletes all the data stored or processed in the device so it leaves no digital traces and it's not possible to prove that tails was used on a particular device let's wrap it up again and this time in a very simple language so basically tails is an operating system installed in a usb drive or a dvd drive due to which it can be used on any device you just need to plug in the usb or a dvd and you get your own os plus play plus tails does not write or store any kind of files in the computer everything is processed in the processing unit of the computer by which i mean if you download any type of cookies or any type of files from the dark web uh everything that you have downloaded is stored in the processing unit of the computer not in the hard drive of the computer due to which when the usb or dvd is plugged out all the data into the computer related to tails is permanently deleted even all the files stored in the usb or dvd drives which contain tails are deleted due to which as compared to using tor on a desktop device it is more safe to use tor using tails and tails is super safe like um if you are using it on a device and you are attacked by a group of hackers you just need to plug out the drive and your data as well as your device is safe from any kind of threat and this course as we are focusing more on the tor browser and on the dark web dark web of course the further detailed guide about tails like installing it and its important settings are not discussed here but but if you want me to update the course related to tails you can always write me in the qna forms or in the suggestions of course your suggest suggestions will be taken seriously and we will try our best to satisfy you with this course thank you that's it for this lecture in the next lecture we are leaving this theoretical stuff and moving further with the practical part it's super fun and we'll see you there thank you very much so on create public demand today we are going to install tails uh, as we saw in the previous lecture tails is best for you know surfing the dark web it's totally secured and plus you don't have to do any you know security settings on the tor browser which we did in the installing tor lecture plus the tails also come with all the software as required for you know visiting or working on the dark web that is the vpn the tor and several other tools in this lecture we are going to download install configure run the tails so let's get started first of all you need a 8 gb usb drive you can install tails on your computer also on a like you can put it on your desktop but we are installing it in our usb drive because of security reasons as discussed in the earlier lectures also you can you can you know protect yourself from threats we will see in the dangers section of this lecture of this course sorry so if you are attacked while you are you are using tails like uh, you are using tails and you have a trojan or something so you are basically attacked by hackers you can just remove your hard drive not your hard drive your pen drive or anything like that and you are totally safe right so 8 gb pen drive is required for installing and you know using tails a pen drive or a hard disk or a cd rom is also okay less than 8 gb is not available 
not not suitable for uh, installing and using tails so i have a pen drive you see you can see usb drive f that is totally empty you'll have to format your 8 gb drives 8 gb or more than that doesn't matter but you'll have to format your 8 gb drives because because whenever you are booting a drive with uh, another os it's it's going to be formatted by default so nothing matters for downloading tails you have to just go to your favorite browser in this case it's chrome you'll just have to write tails here it is go to the first website that's tails.boum.org scroll down you can read the stuff it's kind of interesting nothing nothing in there so scroll down see free software you can download tails for free and independently get tails 4.14 so here are the options on windows mac os linux currently we are installing it on the usb drive so we'll be kicking on four usb sticks usb image click on that download tails verify download okay so uh, if you read on the this website tails.borum which is which is the official website of tails you'll see that it requires two websites to you know configure and install tails but uh, it's not like that you can also use one website uh, only one pen drive sorry if i was telling saying pen drive before sorry website before but you, you by default only require one pen drive and in this video also we are going to use only one pen drive for installing tails the second pen drive which which the tails website recommends is for storing capacity because you know as discussed earlier whenever you remove your pen drive containing tails os it will delete all the files you have created previously right so it will be like a factory data reset in your phone whenever you you'll open again you'll open tails again it would be empty right so it doesn't matter for downloading tails just click on download tails 4.14 usb image it's 1.1 gb file click on it and in some time it will be started developing downloading all right so i have downloaded it so i am just cancelling it for booting your pen drive with this tails image dot image file you'll have to download another software that is are you if you say rufus all right so click on just search rufus right on the first uh, result that is rufus official website click on that you see rufus drive properties and things like that we'll see this later just download the software now so we'll see rufus 3.13 at current time when i'm recording this video the latest version is 3.13 on whenever you are downloading there may be some another higher version than this you feel free to download that there's nothing i don't think there will be any changes in the installation procedure so click on it just and we'll start developing downloading i'll just click cancel because i have also downloaded that when you have downloaded your tails uh, disk file dot i that iso or dot img file you'll have to verify your download because because sometimes or not majority of the times uh, there are chances that you have downloaded some corrupted version so it's better to verify that see i have downloaded tails amd64 i'll just click on it and the website will verify it if it's corrupted or it's it's a copy or something so better save than sorry it's being verified after verification we'll boot the tails into our pen drive right so again i'll show you my pen drive this is the usb drive in which i am going to install tails it's showing 7.24 gb left but it's like 7.8 gb 500 mb is, is emergency storage or something they tell it but the main you know the main uh, memory of the pen drive is 7.8 gb verifying tails again it's it can take two to five minutes doesn't matter but it's very important part don't don't ever skip this verification part see verification is success successful for security always verify or download yes so you can see here i have downloaded rufus and tails so you don't have you know don't, don't need to have install this rufus just click on the file which you have installed it will not start up 
and installation wizard it will just start the software is a simple software so it doesn't matter yes okay this is it see no label device devices devices you have to select that properly because no label f drive 7.8 gb you can see sandisk cursor braid is also showing the official name but select your device very carefully because in that device when your os will be installed that is here in the case os is tails the device will be totally formatted right so select it will just take two to three minutes to you know just verify your your uh, device because if you choose the wrong device there may be a situation in which your whole computer is formatted right so boot selection select your dot img file from where uh, you have downloaded tails tails this this file i have to select and don't do anything with you know any of the you know advanced web properties no no settings are needed to be changed just click on start warning all data on the device again as i said earlier will be destroyed to continue this operation click ok to quick quit click cancel if you if you have not deleted your data click on cancel and format it or have your backup right okay so the drive will be formatted and it's currently booting it it will take two to three minutes depends on your computer speed but uh, after it's ready your tails is ready to be run as you know uh, after the installation of tails we are not going to use the tails through you know windows windows will not be running why will not be running while we are using tails so we'll have to shut down the computer go into the bios or we can say boot menu and then uh, afterwards we'll have to select our uh, pen drive name in this case it's sandisk so from there your uh, device will be booted your tails will be booted and then you can access you know tails uh, that's a great factor because because the windows is not running in this case windows in your case it can be mac or linux is not running in the background and thus it cannot leak your data you know so let it write this image or it's just booting the drive so it will take two to three minutes but it's worth it right okay so as you can see uh, rufus has completed booting up and drive don't click on start right don't click on start click on close your device has been booted and after booting you cannot see your device in your pc you can see i'm clicking on this pc i cannot see any external drive edit here because it's a bootable pen drive now it's not a normal pen drive where you can see your folders and things like that if there will be a problem afterwards when you have when you want to convert your bootable pen drive into a normal pen drive which will show here and and you can you can put your files in there it's not like that i'll i'll show you or i'll just link a youtube video in the resources section where where you can you know format the drive without accessing it from here right so just click close so now i have uh, my pen drive is totally booted with tails i have my tails os ready but now i'll have to you know shut down the pc and open the boot menu this is an hp pc so the key for opening the boot menu is f9 it can be different depending on your pc model but yes so i'll shift to external camera now because you know boot menu cannot be screen recorded but uh, we'll see tails uh, installation we have seen we'll see, see tails configuration there's not not much configuration but yes uh, we'll see that we'll also see the features given to us by tails so let's shift to the external camera hey guys welcome back so in this lecture we are going to install tor and are going to change the security settings of tor for more privacy and protected browsing so until now we have completed all the theoretical section of this course and now we are heading towards the practical section so let's go to our computer screens quickly okay here we are on a computer screens 
first of all uh, open your browser search tor and you will find the first link just click on it and you will be on the official page of the tor browser use a mask use a tor your donation will be matched by friends of tor okay explore freely so download tor browser and you can download tor for windows for mac for linux for android and as we discussed earlier uh, for android you can also download tor from play store as or bot or or box so let's download for windows as this is a windows pc so it started downloading so the download is finished let me check the downloads folder for it and install tor browser quickly so just give me a minute download folder yeah installer i'll first cut paste it and paste in a tor folder i have made on the desktop so install it do you want to run this file yes run select your language english okay destination folder oh it's only 200 mb so i am currently installing it on my desktop so let's see so it's taking some time to install let's let's give it uh, some time so it has been installed completing tor's browser setup run the browser okay finish so you can see there is a tor browser folder made on my screen let's see the browsers okay these are just installation files no need to toggle with them so let us quickly start the browser oh i think it's taking some time because it's starting for the first time on this computer click configure to adjust network settings okay if tor is blocked in a country you can configure it here but it's not banned so let's click on connect okay to be on a safer side it's not recommended to use tor in a full screen mode so let's skip it in this side only and it's also not not advisable to to access the dark web while all the tabs or actually every application some applications are open in a computer so let's close them so here is the main page of the tor browser use a mask use a tor search duck duck go resist the surveillance pandemic okay so that's a simple page nothing more just some tor is free to use because of donations from people like you okay so let's let's quickly see the add-ons installed in this browser https everywhere encrypt the web automatically use https security on many sites no script maximum protection for your browser no script allows active content okay no plugins installed no themes installed so these two action extensions are very important okay and let's see all logins and passwords add-ons okay library let's see the options actually options general options always check if tor browser is your default browser okay so here in my pc tor is not the default browser chrome is default browser so if you want tor as your default browser you can click on this checkbox tabs language and appearance okay show tab previews in windows taskbar zoom these are just normal settings text related settings i can say nothing important in here files and applications files and always ask you where to save files okay this options is very important because uh, whenever websites try to install anything without asking you this browser will ask you the location where to install that so it's kind of safe applications choose how to tor browser handles the files you download okay so okay in this course we are not going to download anything so let's just leave this section allow tor to automatically install updates okay performance okay browsing this these general settings are just random settings you can you can uh, make them or use them according to you home new windows and tabs so the home page would be about tor we just saw and new tab if you open a new tab it would be a blank page 
okay here is the blank page let's see the search options address bar you can do as you like you can select options as you like default search engine DuckDuckGo okay DuckDuckGo is a dark web search engine uh, we will be opening the onion version of DuckDuckGo that is the DuckDuckGo on the dark web in this lecture let's see the privacy and security okay prioritize dot onion science sites when known ask every time so privacy and security sections is quite kind of important so please pay attention clear data yes so as we are in a permanent private browsing mode so cookies and site data will not be stored but to be on a safer side let's manually clear the data logins and passwords unlike chrome tor browser does not store any kind of passwords or email so you are super safe in this context let's see change master okay it also uses a master password uh, and you cannot find that in any of the browsers history always use private browsing mode you should always check that always permissions okay location camera microphone e each and every permission should be disabled right because these are the main sources where people can get access to your computers so each and every these settings should be disabled each and every permission should be disabled so i'm disabling all of them camera microphone notifications because of it the websites try to get control of your computer several hackers are in search of this kind of settings so disabling it gives a lot of security to your browser Let's disable it everything virtual reality disable right let me check it again because these are the main main and most important points of security quickly check again to play block pop-up windows always take that one when websites try to install add-ons yes always okay security level standard safer and safest standard all tor browser and website features are enabled okay disables website features that are often dangerous causing some sites to lose functionality and safest are only allows websites features required for static sites and basic services okay uh, we will always use the safer version because standard version is more vulnerable and the safest will prevent many websites so the safer version is the best block dangerous deceptive content yes always stick on that it's very important query osp oscv responder servers okay so it's tor settings use a bridge okay if if uh, in your country tor is banned you can use bridges but here it is not so we are not going to use it advanced no need to do anything here in the tor section but privacy and security setting was kind of important so these were the settings of tor browser actually the settings we discussed right now are very important okay so let's see the DuckDuckGo browser actually see the DuckDuckGo what is DuckDuckGo browser DuckDuckGo by default searches the surface web but it can also open dot onion websites thus it can also access the dark web but you cannot surf in the dark web right it will always open the surface web websites on the surface web but uh, it can open dot onion websites so let's let's open DuckDuckGo browser it's like in Google there is Chrome so in Tor there is DuckDuckGo right there are many of them actually DuckDuckGo cannot be used to surf the dark web for surfing dark web we will be using another browser later in this course that is excavator right tired of being so DuckDuckGo is a very safe browser it will never uh, track you so here is the onion link of the DuckDuckGo browser which is located on the dark web so for more security we are opening the onion link of the DuckDuckGo browser it's the same DuckDuckGo just on the dark web so you see it's taking some time because it is we are accessing the dark web so because of the blockchain technology we discussed earlier it's taking some time so privacy simplified help spread DuckDuckGo we won't follow you we don't store your personal information ever so uh that's it we don't follow around with ads we don't track you it's total opposite of google actually because it it does not store any of your data indeed it it will not ask you to create accounts and anything so 
it's great duck duck go is very famous and actually so people use very it very much so yeah guys that's it for this lecture we learned about installing tor made some privacy settings and finally opened duck duck go in the onion version of the duck duck go actually in the next lectures we will be surfing the dark web and we will be opening the real dot onion websites which are really hosting hosted on the dark or we can say deep web so see you there thank you very much welcome back guys so after this much theoretical practice we are finally going to solve the dark web so as you know for security reasons the domain names of websites registered on the deep dark web are gibberish you can see the domain names are just random numbers and alphabets mix mixed together so these domain names are really really difficult to remember to solve this kind of issues there are several websites on the deep dark web which acts as a dictionary containing several domain names which are categorized according to the services they provide and the best part about this website is all the domains listed are live and legit this type of websites are known as the hidden wikis in this lecture we are going to explore the hidden wikis so without wasting any time let's go to our computer screens so here we are on our computer screens let's quickly start tor it will not take that much time as it first took when we will we were starting it for the first time so use a mask use a tor actually uh, i am going to open the dot onion site of duckduckgo this is the duckduckgo onion link don't worry all these links will be given to you in a separate we can say file or uh, or i'll attach these things in a resources sec section of this lecture so we are going to open the hidden wikis actually in, for the sake of this lecture we are only going to open two hidden hidden wikis but uh, in reality there are many of them you can find them by just uh, searching like uh, hidden wiki on the surface net but we are only going to open two of them so hidden wikis are structured links you can find on the dark web these are uh, separated according to the topics they offer according to the services they offer actually dark web is not made for this kind of stacking so it's all shattered up and in a very what can we say jumbled links are there on the dark web so here are the two hidden wikis see many 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 links will be there hidden wiki online hidden wiki urls see there are many links many many links in both the hidden wikis actually so editor specs very nice to need, read praise of praise of hawala anonymous volunteer how you can volunteer in this hidden wiki programs introduction points these are just the search engines offered by the dark web ahima.fi duckduckgo tor links torch is quite famous not evil is also good because it censors all the we can say adult content actually of the dark web financial services hidden wallet tor anonymous bitcoin hidden wallet or cash machine you can find here fished paypal net seller skrill boa wells frago bank accounts these are all illegal stuff see uh, anonymous user friendly bitcoin wallet or mixer e or we can say bit cards the most trusted credit card store on the dark web see this these are all illegal services on the dark web 24/7 automated paypal and credit card shop new stock every day so here you can buy um, stolen paypal and credit card accounts queens cash or black store horizon store prepaid cards commercial services see guns dark market guns market to buy guns full auto assault rifles pistol even grenade launchers it said that if you want to find anything on the dark web you can find it from like a pistol to missiles actually counterfilling section to store to buy passports id cards credit cards offshore bank accounts these are all fake 
see store not this links apple palace low priced apple products actually apple for bitcoin that's a quite famous link which provides cheap apple products see here it is apples for bitcoins millionaire private club credit card paypal cc onion name domain services as as we can see on the surface web the dark web also gives you domain services fake id generator fake identity names ssn blogs section these are just blogs which we can also see on the dark oh sorry surface web email services email services are kind of famous of the dark web actually in email services we can say proton mail is quite famous because unlike um mail services offered by google these are very secured and totally anonymous so no one can track you here social networks tor 2.0 the facebook of tor share your memories connect with others and make friends actually as we discussed in the earlier lectures tor also have a facebook which is hosted on the dark web actually the original facebook has also a hosting on the dark website whistle blowing deep, deep web mirror of famous wikileaks websites these are just leak section uh, leaked web uh, leaked files of certain companies and things like that file uploaders this is just we can say the google drive section of the dark web audio services video services books okay books section is quite famous because you can find any book literally any book on the dark web and for free actually titanium library gives 60 gb of russian and english books comic book library collection of comic books largely independent it's quite famous actually comic book library so the drug section you can find any drug literally any drug on the dark web coffee shop grade cannabis from the netherlands weed and pot shop trading for longer than a year and now weed hash benzos ketamine heroin mdma digital crudes all of them erotica section we will not be talking about it because it's it's against the terms of udemy so these are non english websites actually uh, the the websites we saw previously were hosted in english but these websites give actually the same services but are in different language and uh, on the dark web there is nothing like google translate so these websites are actually in different languages but these are just irc server configurations nothing we can visit and do anything xmpp these are just server datas so nothing of our work here onion cat addresses and nothing these are these are just server related things dead hidden services do not simply remove services that appear okay so this gives you a how to you can report a fake link which is listed on the sudden wiki right this service is very useful in determining whether onions are up or not it also gives a reason why they are down so actually on the dark web um first of all you can find websites like they belong to 1990s because because majority of the websites hosted on the dark web are uh, of like 2 to 3 pages max unlike on the surface web you can find websites of hundreds hundreds of pages actually so yeah hidden wiki next hidden wiki let's see it so so many links here also introduction points small list of onions search engines greasy search engine torch let's let's see torch actually torch is quite famous because it directly searches in the dark web right unlike uh duck duck go that searches the clear net but can open dot onion links whereas tor sorry torch only only opens or only searches in the okay it has been migrated as i as i told earlier uh, this links are quite quite unstable many of the websites are not up right because this is a dark web several times the government is not several times every time the government is trying to crack things here so torch is is the dark web browser actually so let's me search game here right games i know it's it's pretty out of the book topic but it came to my mind so i just searched it so many ads here mm -hmm. controller games for the pc see all these links uh, have a dot onion link actually not dot com or dot org so these are all 
you know the dark websites expensive nsa's back controller games okay so for the sake of this course we are only going to see the hidden wikis in the next lecture we'll be going to visit these websites so not in this lecture if you want to see these websites you can visit the next lecture after completing this one so other general stuff marketplace easy easy coin bitcoin wallet actually these are bitcoin wallets which are online even bitcoin wallets are found on the surface web onion identity sell services selling passports and id cards rent a hacker hacking ddos high quality uk passports usa drivers fake licenses european arms dealer cheap apple products for bitcoin apple for bitcoin was also listed on the previous website previous hidden wiki kamagra for bitcoin same as viagra but cheaper okay tor upload services this are just again hosting services file sharing file sharing image hosting paste beans web hosting other blogs blog section is like like um, the surface web nothing is you know different about it people just come and write their overviews so blog about wet whatever wants to talk about it's all about the intel and knowledge whistle blowing technology blog yesha back with cones journal and some other stuff these are just i think random things people have written in their blogs forums or boards actually forums is is a like a community or a group of people talking talking about a particular topic right so that's forum email services yes email services are quite famous chat rooms again same as forums but uh, not a particular topic you can you can chat anything about them any topic social networks again political advocacy whistle blowing hpa wvc okay includes cables currently redacted or offline or nothing hpa wvc hack fake anarchy virus virus crack brahma linux wireless mobile tech constinum in poland school hacker okay paper describing highly audio services video services library drug related actually i think i think uh, drug related services were more in the previous hidden wiki let's see actually yeah this this are just articles related to drugs you where is the drug section in here drug section drug section oh yeah here it is anonymous marketplace for all kind of drugs so many links and here are only are two i think these are articles not the section which sell drugs actually weapons training collection of forbidden sites and how to's making weapons military trading and related subjects you see same very things like you cannot find on the surface web right clear net web page anonymously share research papers so here is the drug section actually where you can find drugs community adult section no skip it the the dark web is filled with this kind of stuff adult section actually uncategorized actually the whole dark web is uncategorized but it's okay websites in different languages korean russian spanish swedish so many of them so there are plenty of links listed on the hidden wikis and if you and if you search the hidden wikis more more hidden wikis if you visit them you will find many links but again this is very risky thing because this websites all are not legit i'll say some are legit but not all so the hidden wiki onion you can if you want to find uh, hidden wikis on the surface web you can just write hidden wiki onion or your on your google chrome or also on the tor browser duckduckgo because it searches only the surface web so hidden wiki tor onion links see this this website said website is actually hosted on the surface web but uh, all the links here are in the form of dot onion links so you can also open it from here that's that's the reason that's a way how you can find any onion link from the you know surface web actually you can also find several hidden wikis from the surface web okay guys that's it for this lecture after completion of this lecture my advice would be first you clear this chapter that is surfing the dark web and then actually 
try to access the dark web because uh, we only visited we only saw the links not visited it and it may be dangerous and it's quite dangerous actually more 100 times dangerous than than visiting the surface web but but we will learn the security options we can we can implement them to save ourselves from any kind of threats so again don't don't now try to visit this dark webs i know these links are kind of interesting but uh, interesting things but but don't just uh, without any safety uh, don't just visit this links okay in the next lecture we are actually going to visit this once so and uh, thank you very much for viewing this lecture again safety is more important right thank you very much see you in the next one hey guys welcome back so in this lecture we are going to visit some interesting websites on the deep dark web we will be searching some weird topics on the deep dark web using the excavator browser so we know that duckduckgo can open that onion links but cannot search the dark web as it is by default searches the surface web whereas excavator directly searches the dark web which gives us the ability to actually surf the dark web so let's get started so guys here we are on a computer screen let me quickly start tor and in this lecture as i told earlier we are going to use excavator actually excavator can be used to you know surf the dark web actually it's kind of secure as it as it only gives you live links so none of these links which will be displayed are dead i'll be offering i'll be giving you actually these links I'll be giving you the onion link of Taktako, uh, the hidden two wikis we visited in the previous lecture and excavator. So I have prepared a list of topics which are you know hard to find on the surface web and and clearly display the mythic or you know the evil side of the dark web. So let's see. The first point on our list would be Hitman. There are plenty of Hitman services offered on the dark web, but you know there is much risk in them because majority of the services offered here are fake yes are fake and it's it's quite better if you don't visit these websites or try to take any of the services because you know even the fbi could be operating this websites see hire a killer for hire real contract murders many of the links giving you hitman services let's visit some hire a killer hire a hitman okay it's loading let it take time some it will always take time all the dark web links will take time always hire a killer hire a hitman okay let me let me see another links uh, hitman list on the dark web complete reviews let let's open this one also so hire a contract killer online to hire a contract follow this instruction to stay anonymous use vpn oh hire a killer debt recovery okay it also gives debt recovery services before contact us, uh, contacting us ensure use a secret secured email like proton mail okay we only accept one mode of payment which is bitcoins hire a killer how do you hire a killer or other people so before you can only look at this king of service in the dark web which cannot access with the north browser expect to use the tor browser okay just articles assassination is the best practical solution to solve the personal dispute all the communication is done through our secure online forms our hitman is a perfect solution for your killing needs we provide a number of professional assassination and such services okay how to hire a contract killer we specialize in providing criminal services worldwide our specialization is contract killing and the arms trade okay the main range of services snipers highly trained soldiers okay accident services explosions are so on and intimidation actions knife feeling we accept contract killings with knife to inflict pain to an enemies before sent above poison service this may be fake guys actually so never trust on this type of websites actually how to hire our contract killers okay why is our services 99 percent success rate 200 plus plus services order I was okay I cannot say this 
45 i need your service to end someone who was made by life from misery okay i want to know this well can you tell me they redo it job completed after seven days of payments these are i i don't think these are also legit replies this are just you know the developer had had inserted them through html by him by his own hitman says this is the most complete hitman guide on the internet as of 2020 please bookmark this site before you order any hitman for higher service you should prepare bitcoin to pay after the mark is dead it is not safe to meet a killer in person to pay with cash as he could be an undercover cop or he could run away with the 50 percent of cash advance okay if some links are not working please make sure you're in top internet killer okay i think i think this is just an article which which shows you know the the websites we which offer killing services like hetman killers so this is the first link internet killers average okay second link mexican hitman price of killer 4000 to 10000 dollars okay 4 years ago established reputation good okay hitman connect 15000 reputation poor poor okay bad known scam okay okay so you see many of the websites listed here are scams so uh, many 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 websites which uh, uh, provide hitman services are here real cases are also there this are just articles this is not a uh, you can say a hitman service website but yeah it 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 has backlinks of many hitman websites so however so this is just a case you know how this hitman works and this is just a case study so hitman can be added online are real and other hitmans are fake that man in this case were presenting an unexpected unexpected new release on short you will find many articles about police investigating the first dark web murder that they found out about there were many murders before this one but the hitman was smart enough to not get caught okay i think there are also some spelling mistakes but it's okay see these are some small points which through which you can actually identify that a website is legit or not so yeah that were hitman services we saw actually two websites yes but there are many of them and the next topic would be money laundering or we can say mixing services that's actually um we can say converting black to white money method i don't know i have never tried it but it is said that uh, your money in the form of bitcoins is transferred to many bitcoin wallets and uh, after transferring all this money it comes back to your account from different bitcoin wallets which which you know washes the money and that's why it's known as bitcoin cleaning services let's see some of these websites hi helix light by crams i'm i'm just opening random websites welcome to spacex okay what is bitcoin mixing services so you see you tinted bitcoins and it gives you you know white bitcoins or or pure bitcoins in in short we can say that transparent display what do we offer just random stuff uh type your session token here why choose chip mixer uploads can be used instantly optimal probably fair betting outputs are faster much small chips no account actually you have to consider these things before having any bitcoin transaction or any transaction in the form of cryptocurrencies that the major this defect in in the case of cryptocurrencies is that they can't be get back right so you cannot like um if you if you make a credit card payment right you you can actually get that money back because because you can case it right you can file a case against a person but in this context you cannot right because it's it's all anonymous let's see mm, bitcoin scams our next topic would be bitcoin scams so these are just bitcoins no sorry these are just websites which say that you can generate bitcoins by just giving some bitcoins like you can you can generate 
10 to 20 bitcoins by by providing them only one bitcoins all the services i repeat all the services are scams so don't don't try to we are just visiting and showing it to you so bitcoin bitcoin generator bitcoin doubler money generator bitcoin generator exploit okay bitcoin bitcoin generator all features users online total paid total visitors total today visitors okay so many visitors thanks so much i literally received in my wallet that works okay 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 so here we are select amount you want to generate so so according to this website so you just you just increase this dial and low you made one bitcoin right uh today's one bitcoin price is sixteen thousand dollars so by just according to this website by just dialing this dial you can get one bitcoin in your account all these things are fake don't fall for it right so are you ready to generate bitcoin it will it will ask for your bitcoin wallet address and and you know just just hack it or do something weird to it so never give your bitcoin address to this creepy or uh, where you don't have trust actually follow the simple steps okay enter your bitcoin wallet why is this so easy worked fine anyone from france works flawless okay i think all these services which which provide bitcoin mixing services and bitcoin generating services are 100 percent scams right follow the simple steps below to claim bitcoin money okay so received 25 bitcoins see received 80 bitcoins received 90 bitcoins received 50 bitcoins this service is 100 percent fake receive it but 50 bitcoins actually what is 50 bitcoins how much value it will be right <clears throat> it's it's not possible actually so the next topic which we would be going to explore would be hackers see black hat actual hackers actually on the dark web are in huge quality and quantity actually because they are always in search of some you know trait or some person who who accidentally you know leaks their identity or their location on the dark web and they can you know some by some means they can hack them or they can get money out of them actually so darkness hacking zone home pirate crackers home many of these links you can you can hire hackers actually hacking guide but i don't think these are safe this is safe actually, hiring hackers is totally illegal so don't try it hackers group online hire hacker hire a hacker professional hacking guides windows dark web hackers hackers group i'll, I'll just open bunch of links and we'll see so for beginning and professional hackers Hacking guides, Windows, Linux, Mac, Facebook, Twitter, LAN, Wi-Fi, website and more. Please enable JavaScript for functionality. I repeat, never, never, ever allow any type of scripts, maybe Java, maybe JavaScript, to be accessed on your Tor browser, right? These are very dangerous, very, very dangerous. They can get direct access to your computers through this thing. So never enable this type of things. It's asking me to, you know, enable JavaScript. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, and it offers several services. You know, we saw Apple services, Instagram hacking services, Wi-Fi wi hacking services. See the another website, WhatsApp hacking services, hacking cell. Need to mon Do you want to know everything your husband, wife, children do on WhatsApp and you don't have access to the device? Just cell phone number. See how to do it and our guarantees. Okay hacking cell need a monitor or android okay nothing hacking email accounts hacking facebook facebook okay facebook has a very great security actually only the you know elite hackers can access facebook and you know before the there were many controversies regarding facebook data leaks but they have they have made that security at a top level so it's quite quite difficult Hackers that inspire us, meet some hackers who inspired us. Daniel Lofarmo, I don't know who this is. But if this website is showing them, they might be quite famous. So 14.672 monitoring, 3.627 contacts, 39 point something clients. 
what is this testimonials services super fast service note 10 i have already okay hackers and partners they have also partners meet our hackers and advanced technology exports <clears throat> latest news hacking instagram passwords facebook services hacking email okay let's see hacking instagram services let's see the prices actually offered by them so enter site usa cookies never never accept this <clears throat> hacking account instagram if you forgot your instagram password hacked your instagram or your husband or wife has an instagram and you want to know everything he or she does we have solution for you okay is the person's password change deposit the amount of bitcoin at the wallet's address below so it's the price of hacking instagram is 0.006 dollars actually it's around 60 dollars it it says in the bracket i don't think it's 60 dollars but who knows mm -hmm. hacking facebook services let's see actually by mistake i i allowed this website to install cookies on this laptop but uh, as as i told earlier this laptop is you know only for accessing the dark web so it's quite safe because i you know format it on a monthly basis have you been hacked do you want to find out your website computer or network can or be or has been hacked social media threats computing service and surveillance removal like mugshot picture removed locate missing people see this i think is a good hacking services website we which 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 provide services which are legit like locate missing people background checks checks ssn traced online dating scams this is a you know a white hat hacker thing the previous websites we visited like hacking facebook and hacking instagrams are i think i think a black hat hackers thing cyber extortion computer security training tracking passwords did you, for, did you forget your password email cracking windows and apple website password cracking cyber fraud have you been scammed if you need special services contact us here okay i think that's a link professional hackers team 2020 all right so up that's it that's let's, let's see the pricing section actually oh it's okay hacking web server vps or hosting it's like 0 0.310 bitcoins order 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 setting up your own botnet enter the hacking personal computers it's like 0.222 bitcoins web server security audit fraud track find your scammer device tracking ddos for big sites price can change okay ddos is quite quite you know dangerous for websites as well as pcs because it's it's actually a script which destroys your pc or converts your pc files into some weird extensions which can only be you know undone by the you know hacker or the attacker so social media account hacking 0 0.0204 bitcoins spyware creation intelligent report locate people intelligent report background check selling up your own partner so these are the services hackers group online provides but i i liked it because because the they also provide you know legit services like not legit but you know nice services we can say like find missing people right by hacking purposes so it's kind of good i i actually don't know this is legit or not but just saying that i liked this website let's see bitcoins to to usd to you know compare this prices so let's see as you know but uh, the duckduckgo browser only searches the surface web so uh, searching here anything is literally same like browsing a google chrome but more secure right so 0 0.02 bitcoins is like 368 dollars so yeah so you can hack personal computers with around say 368 dollars or social media any account with 368 dollars okay hackers group online hire a hacker 
so we'll be searching another another link another topic on my list which would be wrapped up actually with hidden wikis there are certain websites which which really state um which marketplaces actually like which links which offer some services like we visited the hit hit hitman services or several websites which we provide uh, documents fake documents or something like that are fake or legit so raptor is kind of a famous one which which gives information about this scam websites also it gives information about legit websites but what can you trust right it's the dark web you cannot trust anyone any website here corona market corona market okay dark fox market see scammers tab actually this was the special feature of raptor agar tha big blue market this all are scams red ones are scams poisland onion fake markets digital dreamalt dreamalt market i don't know dark business ghostbusters all are scam services so this websites you know silk silk road for me okay silk road is kind of a very famous actually website it was legit i don't know about today's condition but it was a very famous website which sells mainly sells drugs but all services you know its developer was recently arrested by the cia and like all the fake or you know all the famous dark web websites this website was also easily and you know rapidly again relaunched as silk market 2 by some another guy to access on monopoly one one market we enforce strict no javascript policy as mean you are using latest or browser look in the top right corner click on the shield click on advanced security select the safest security level so okay so monopoly website is trying to say trying to tell us that we use the safest security level and you know visit this website let's see actually i prefer going through safer version safer security version because because the safest you know bans or um, removes some images and media files actually um the the normal version is quite you know dangerous but i think safer version is quite good because because it's not too safe and not too vulnerable monopoly market if you are still experiencing issues please type about config into a url bar accept the risk enter javascript enabled into the search bar and then finally double click on the option which should change the value from true or false i okay i i, I let's just close this one and i'm back to safer version so there are many websites like like raptor which provide this kind of services let's search stolen data you know stolen data is available all over the dark net you see stolen credit cards fake credit card see home chop leo leaks by cheap credit card info credit card info stolen credit cards cheap credit card info stolen credit card plastic sharks hidden financial services pal track i don't know what was that globe 049 chat join diaspora most secure email free and end to end msg safe okay let's open some of this websites hidden financial services okay stolen paypal accounts for sale yes by cheap credit card info stool mm -hmm. stolen cards and stolen cards okay let's open this three hidden financial services see the proofs okay it also provide proofs we'll see clone credit cards scanned using atm scammers scammers okay what are atm scammers actually this atm scammers are attached to you know the place where you insert your credit or debit card while while accessing the money which you deposited this this scam scanners actually capture your details from the card and then these are sold on the dark web so yeah 
both proton mail and our payment systems are encrypted so it's impossible email contact if you have any questions ask us here stolen prepaid cards i think all kind of cards let's see the proofs hidden financial services okay 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 these are the proofs i don't know this this images can also be accessed from the internet but who knows actually what can you trust nowadays you cannot trust any image also because editing services are so well developed that you cannot differ, differentiate between the original image and edited image right so many images here let's visit the home page visa prepaid cards cloned credit cards skimmers i talked about previously let's see the price so balance 2000 2500 and its price is only 70 right this may be fake and in majority course of you know balance to 500 dollars to 300 3500 for 130 cloned american express cards working worldwide with pin and all data so yeah stolen prepaid cards paypal and western union transfers get money on your paypal okay so paypal stolen paypal accounts for sale see currently available us 250 to 350 dollars for 0.022 btc okay i think it was the same we we converted 0.02 btc it was around 300 200 dollars how does it work press buy paypal account button next to the how do i get bitcoins you can buy them at okay how can i trust paypal accounts let's see this one buy paypal i think the prices are actually same 0.02 after confirmation you will get your full address on your paypal account pay balance bitcoin address is also given okay address will be only working for 24 hours okay i'm not going to pay of course welcome to shop cards and stolen cards by shop on our site you can buy fresh risk free visa prepaid cards cloned chipped cards okay you want to sell hacked accounts contact us if you sell hacked accounts or dumps on a regular basis some photos with our own domain address and shop name on the pieces of paper for verification okay a bit about us clone cards is a large group located in europe us since 2015 we are skimming cards you know i talked about card skimming you nothing much all those websites are you know just single page websites majority of them why are you selling cards why don't you cash out this cards about tap okay just not every single one that would be definitely too risky yes as said in the about tap giving the money away is just in protection for us by making sure the cards aren't cashing out by only single area by us it makes us easier okay what is the difference between visa prepaid chipped clones and magnetic clones just taxing things if you if you are uh, you know deep in carding things or or anything like that you you can try them i am not saying that the alleged ones but you know try at your own risk risk you are visiting the dark web at your own risk so do you want to order pay okay after payment send the transaction number and shipping address notice if you want to order another package then 1 5 or 10 cards this email us pricing okay five cards 650 dollars balance per card is like 3000 dollars okay let's let's that's it for this website let's see another topic actually so, so many links here so i'll be searching human products yes um when i was when i was actually new at the dark web i was quite fascinated with these things some websites even provide human products like um, wallets made from human skins or or anything you know you can guess it right but uh, again we don't know all the services are safe or or just scams or are being inspected by the government we just don't know some of this illegal websites are even controlled by the government and actually made for catching people who are trying to access this kind of things so yeah legit 
dumps market welcome to apple okay so it's it's not showing actually any human products website i have visited several of them but i cannot see anything here on the excavator we have some on the on the hidden wikis if you can find it human wiki let's see biological neural network anonymity assembly language what's this okay this is i think another you know hidden wiki which is not quite famous hidden wiki one of the fake the hidden wiki okay so there are also categories of hidden wiki on this page nothing much this is just an article section let's see another links if we can find something related to human products right let me actually previously i have i have searched about them and i have found purses or or anything you know leather which contains leather made from human skin so yeah actually i have also found articles which 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 tells how to dispose humans and you know all that dark side of that yes how to how to dispose a dead body and things like that after killing it of course it's this articles are only for criminals right not for people like us welcome to pan media review we understand that life can be hard for queer folk in the hostile to human rights such as the us uk australia and other major international human right violators unfortunately there seems to be a limit to what we can do oh, i don't think this is just the home page of a blog website it seems like that i don't know bluntly we are here to help our run be user base to find a different bubble this is also is a peer run and peer to peer i'll just close it it's just article if you want to read you can visit or read uh, or you can always pause the video and read it let's see human skin i am trying to find that website it was a simple very simple one actually just a half page not a full page actually just a half page we cannot scroll it down hara killer okay so it's it's showing hara killer when i search human skin okay let's find another things let, let me search different topics actually so i'll search cannibalistic forms i i i think you all guys know what what are cannibals right but if you don't know cannibals are people who eat human flesh right so yeah even if you do some research you can find that the the you know murderers right which are quite frequent murderers use this technique to dispose the you know you know the body of a person by selling their meat on a shop you cannot actually differentiate between a human meat or or any animals meat so let me search i i cannot find cannibalistic forms also i don't know why but let me search experiments human experimentations i am i am to so trying to search that but let's see experiments nothing nothing at excavator i think filters this thing out i don't know human experiments let's see i have read articles on this topic actually we also have articles about human experiments on the hidden wikis but i don't know actually i have only read articles about that i am i have actually not any visited any of this website let's see japanese lady or that code green i i cannot find any i'm so sorry for that but i cannot find any of this websites okay so the previous three topics that were human products cannibalistic forums and human experimentation i cannot find anything on the excavator but but if you can find anything any links related to that you are free to paste them in the discord server or or you can also private message me on the udemy right so there are remaining three topics i think which we can talk about but i cannot show them on the screen you know as it as it breaks the terms and conditions about the you know instructors of the udemy so the first topic would be this animal abuse videos 
so yes you can find animal abuse videos this is the more darker of darker section i can say of the dark web right which are animal abuse videos you can you can find cruel people doing this kind of things stay away from this things right you can also find this on the dark web yes it's it's very common actually on the dark the dark web is filled with this kind of thing actually i can say if you search camera the link will say cameras new cameras or something like that but when you click on that link you will see this things right just pop up so you see uh, whenever i am opening links in this video i am very careful before opening this links i have to actually cut some portion of this video also to prevent this kind of sections so yes the dark web is majorly filled with this kind of content again before visiting any website you have to check it right you have to think before visiting any website or doing any action on the dark web because you know it's a criminal paradise right you cannot just do anything and think that you will be safe right and the third point which i'd like to convey is the dark web live website yes there is also a news website it can be said as a news website on the dark web the website is again known as dark web live so there are you know daily updates the recent news related to the dark web can be found there and that's kind of positive because you know that's that's a right way or you can say that's a good way in which the dark web is represented all the news related to drugs scams or you can say the arrest by police several websites being closed everything everything each and everything you can find on the the dark web live actually it is very accurate right and like all news channels or on all news websites it's frequently updated so that's that's great so yes guys stay away from you know the last three topics we discussed and majority of the content around the stuff actually surfing the dark web is very very dangerous and never advisable so surf at your own risk and according to me prevent surfing it right don't surf it it's i know it's kind of interesting but it's also dangerous right so guys that's it for this lecture uh in this lecture we visited you know some interesting websites on the deep web which which scratch which makes a scratch of a head like what kind of people are there in the world right we visited hit hitman services money laundering services bitcoin scams hackers stolen data human products cannibals animal abuse dark web live many of the slings right in the next lecture we are going to explore you know the cryptocurrency section of the dark web this this course is i think more leaned towards cryptocurrency section more than dark web because cryptocurrencies are a great great way i think it's a future of stock markets right so we'll see you there thank you very much for viewing this lecture we'll see you there in the cryptocurrency section thank you very much hey guys welcome back so in this lecture we are going to explore the marketplaces available on the dark web actually we'll be exploring the links which we saw on the hidden wiki as majority of them offered some kind of services so without wasting any time let's get started so here we are guys on our computer screens let me quickly start tor so it's starting so in this lecture we are not going to you know uh, open different links we are just going to open the links which we saw in the previous lecture that is from the hidden wikis in the previous lecture we accessed two hidden wikis so we are also going to access them in this lecture and actually open the links in the previous lecture as you know we didn't open any link we just saw them what they offered but uh, in this lecture we are going to open this links and again don't worry all this links of you know hidden wiki or duck duck go or excavators that uh, we in the next lecture we are going to use will be provided to you so this onion links are quite difficult to find editor specs okay nothing introduction points are just uh, just details about the browsers so here are the two hidden wikis 
let's explore this one first so introduction points nothing just browsers finance services green machine forum type marketplace with some of the oldest and most experienced vendors around get your paypal cc's etc let's open this one so you know as we are surfing on the dark web this links are quite difficult to open and sometimes they don't even open right that that have different reasons but uh, the best one on your side should be just close them right so the green machine fake id so much links this all are illegal content cloned credit cards real cards with stolen info or fake ids i can do anything to get 5000 us dollars clone cards want to vend here read this how to email me fixed extend xmas sale i need softwares to intercept sms games who know any link on the dark web horse riding or betting system i want to open a site to make money yes okay yes i am still in business okay let's see the first link clone credit cards real cards with stolen info let's see this so hello everyone i gathered the equipment for cloning cc's learned and perfected my method i am ready to start selling this wonderful cards okay so this is the first review actually 7 hours ago it was posted i made an order for one card 3 days ago though i had seen uh, if he was real or not my jaw dropped when i opened the mailbox today got the card packing was awesome then i went to walmart grabbed 47 inches lcd card worked okay so he spent 1000 dollars on the card and should still be 1000 okay I have just sent a mail so this was the you know cloning card cloning section actually we can say that where price is 100 dollars per card i will emboss the cards with any names you wish guaranteed to have at least 3000 dollars left on cc limit most are over 4000 dollars that's great so in short we can buy a card having 3000 dollars balance or or most of them as it is stated here has more balance than $4000 $400 right so these are actually stolen cards if this is legit i don't think it was but if these are stolen cards yeah paypal bazaar paypal accounts for sale okay cash machine fished paypal neteller skrill boa okay so by mistake i opened this link in this tab only so i'll have to copy you know the link of the hidden wiki cash cow prepaid cards paypal okay so it's selling prepaid or cards or cash cow have plenty of it bring your bucket and get some okay it says safety first we deliver we love crypto prepaid cards get loaded prepaid cards you will have your name on it totally secure easy to use after cash out you can throw it or reuse it until its limit is reached okay combined with just 10 to 15% price to its value ratio okay paypal transfers bank transfers western union money gram real money actually let's visit another links people paypal cash shadow wallet prepaid cards oldly seller of old hw fresh guns dark market so i am quite passionate and about drugs uh, not drugs actually guns i'm so sorry guns i have some kind of attraction around them i i don't own anything actually but yeah these are quite of fantasies for me so her deep web guns guns thank you for choosing us cp czp07 duty 9 mm for around 475 dollars colt mustang for 570 glock 19 for 470 dollars it's also a shotgun mossberg smith okay i actually uh, when i used to play counter strike i used this gun it was one of my favorites so yeah Let's zoom in it's it's like amazon in in the pictures you know uzi ak47 bull up again ak47 scar these are night vision cameras flare first mate flare l s32 and mos MO are quite cheap actually. Fifty boxes, twenty-three per box. Okay, twenty-three dollars per box, and this night vision cameras are quite expensive. Three thousand dollars. Let's see some other links. 
सीए स्टोर एप्पल पैलेस लो प्राइज एप्पल प्रोडक्ट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू मी एप्पल फॉर बिटकॉइन देर इज अनदर लिंक ऑन द हिंड विकी इज मोर फेमस एज कंपेयर टू एप्पल पैलेस बट लेट सी सी स्टोर द ओरिजिनल कार्डेड स्टोर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स परचेज विद कार्डेड गिफ्ट कार्ड्स एवरीथिंग ब्रांड न्यू न्यू फुल एस्को एक्सेप्टेड ओके गोल्ड एंड डायमंड्स जेन्यू इन गोल्ड डायमंड्स एंड राइनो हॉर्न शिप फ्रॉम जर्मनी एंड यू एस ए सी फुटबॉल मनी फिक्सड फुटबॉल गेम्स इन स्टोर लेट मी ओपन सी एस सी स्टोर एक्चुअली इट्स नॉट सी एस स्टोर इट्स सी स्टोर लेट्स टी लेट्स सी आई हैव ओपन परफॉर्मिंग मेंटेनेंस ओके सो इट वॉज इट्स परफॉर्मिंग मेंटेनेंस सी दिस हिडन विकी इज एक्चुअली द वेबसाइट्स ऑन द डार्क वेब आर क्वाइट स्लो एक्चुअली देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम विथ माई इंटरनेट कनेक्शन बट ड्यू टू यू नो एज वी डिस्कस अर्लियर ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी दिस आर स्लो सो एप्पल आई फोन प्रो मैक्स फॉर फाइव फोर्टी टू सिक्स नाइन्टी डॉलर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इट्स लाइक थाउजेंड डॉलर्स ऑन द रियल मार्केट इफ यू विजिट स्मार्ट फोन्स गोल्ड एंड मिक्स फिजिकल प्री पेड कार्ड्स कंप्यूटर्स एंड टैबलेट्स लैपटॉप्स हेडफोन्स गिफ्ट कार्ड्स कस्टम ऑर्डर्स एवरीथिंग इज अवेलेबल लेट्स सी गिफ्ट कार्ड्स एक्चुअली आई डेंट सी गिफ्ट कार्ड इन एनी अदर प्रीवियस वेबसाइट्स वी विजिट सो सो कैलिफोर्निया गिफ्ट कार्ड्स कैनेडा गिफ्ट कार्ड सॉरी फोर नाइन्टी फाइव डॉलर्स यू के गिफ्ट कार्ड्स फॉर वन सिक्सटी फाइव टू थाउजेंड डॉलर्स लेट सी कैनेडा वन एमेजॉन सी ए गिफ्ट कार्ड डू नॉट यूज वी पी एन और डर्टी आई पी इज इन यूर अमेजॉन अकाउंट वी मीन स्पेंडिंग द गिफ्ट कार्ड यू कैन यूज योर वी पी एन सो इट्स एज दैट डो नॉट यूज वी पी एन बट वाइल स्पेंडिंग यू कैन यूज ओके दैट्स दैट्स काइंड ऑफ जम्बल आर टोटली सेफ टू यूज ऑन योर अकाउंट वी दैम वी यूज अ मेथड दैट मेक्स इट इम्पॉसिबल फॉर दैम टू ट्रेस द डर्टी कार्ड्स ओके सो वॉट्स वॉट्स द प्राइस अमेजॉन गिफ्ट कार्ड्स कैन सीमलेसली कन्वर्टेड टू अमेजॉन पे बैलेंस नो कस्टमर कैन यूज एन अमेजॉन पे बैलेंस टू शॉप अक्रॉस टेन क्रोड प्रोडक्ट्स ऑन अमेजॉन रिचार्ज द मोबाइल ओके Nothing else. Let's let's see. Gift cards UK. Gift cards CNY. Custom orders. Headphones. Smart watches. Laptops. Um. Let me visit some another category. Here. Yeah. Okay. Let's just visit different websites. We have plenty of them. Okay. Fake passport ID sale. Euro guns, your number one Euro arm arm dealer. Okay, let's see. U.S. fake IDs. Okay, it loaded actually. Walter PPK, KL seven Desert Eagle, Sogar. These are all seven ninety euros actually. Actually, the payment is in bitcoins, but uh, for display purposes, they use dollars and euros. Uh, Helix Lite bitcoins mixer. Uh, in the next lecture, we'll be talking about bitcoin mixers. Amazon cards bring the dreams to reality with this amazing gift cards. Okay, Let's see light money discount. You are step to dream. These are all guys. Okay, please, please, please. You know, these are please take care of yourself. These are kind of you know ex exaggerated, kind of attractive. But Mastercard two thousand dollars, American Express two thousand dollars, PayPal balance, Western Union cards. Actually, PayPal balance is also given here. Safety, fast transfer, easy, hundred percent guarantee. Okay. And these are quite cheap. See, PayPal fourteen hundred dollars for like hundred dollars. Anonymity and security. Okay. Let let me see different accounts here. Buy real money. Actually, best quality cash in multiple currencies. USD, euros, and GDP. Let's see this one. We didn't see any website offering um you know. Ah, uh, cash in cash. Empire Market most popular. Okay, it loaded. So, oh, this much cash is there. So used money. The smart way and safe way. Stay away from counterfeit methods. It will send you to jail. Actually, stay away from this type of illegal methods. They can also send you to jail. Used cards is used cash is shredded. So in 2015, blah 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 blah, many of the cash estimate 72 million, 722 million cash was shredded. So they acquired some. Yeah, the buy real money. Tam has access to 
the cache that is going to be shredded we can spend it we have a problem we are only able to send some small amounts of cash okay so okay we need to maintain access to our cash hoard and do want to get so we offer cash in exchange for bitcoins okay i i think i got how they how these people get cash so they actually get the currency which was which was going to be shredded and then exchange it for you know default which is in the bank in the form of faulty currency and sell it actually to people like us for some bitcoins it's it's a hard to believe topic actually why will somebody send uh you know cash for less amounts of bitcoins see this website's empire market offers counterfeits credit card documents drugs gadgets gift cards guns money transfers and others there are also some reviews actually uh, this reviews are quite also not trusted because as you know okay it sells grenades also so wait grenade i never saw grenade on the dark web actually australia anonymous wifi dongle physical delivery it's mdma cola i think it's kind of a drug legend grade shatter water clear pure cocaine again drug 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 i don't know which type of drugs are there so i'm just look mom i am a cyber criminal carding guide on dark net okay credit cards pin card embosser make 1 lakh dollars per day okay 60000 cash 60000 canadian dollars we recommend okay one bitcoin wallet okay one bitcoin one btc bitcoin wallet so they are going to give a bitcoin wallet that has one bitcoin value for 500 dollars right which is again taken from you in bitcoin uh, that's that's hard to believe stuff Uh, document section Amer Australian driver's license French ID cards German ID cards US residency permit Canadian residency permits French driver's license uh, according to me this all are fake if you want to try then do it these things are on your own risk and you know these things are illegal so i don't recommend anybody to try these things out yeah it's quite fascinating to see these things to visit these things but not try them that's quite dangerous actually email or message in section okay social networks tor book 2.0 facebook of tor uh, let's let me open this one actually facebook real facebook onion domain claim not to keep logs trust them at your own peril forums sports the intel exchange no or need to know something ask and share it at this underground intelligence gathering network okay whistle blowing okay uh whistle blowing is actually a person from one company shares its secrets with another company so that's actually whistle blowing whistle blowing books book section is quite good on the dark web parasite collection of forbidden files and how tos these are like forbidden how tos and you know illegal stuff maybe about some illegal things actually drugs bb paul dreyer's ebook library liberated books and papers a small collection of okay these links are not loading quickly they have they can have any problem but let's see another links drugs anonymous marketplace for all kind of drugs green road biggest market marketplace with full working scroll people's drug store let let me open the drug market thing actually i don't think showing drugs on the udemy is quite you know in the terms but let's see cannabis uk uk wholesale cannabis supplier ddop german weed and hash shop bitcoin okay bit pharma eu vendor for cocaine speed mdma subscriptions okay subscriptions is kind of a drug i don't know it states here this links are again not working very quite easily non english section we are not going to visit this place because you know french websites german websites mysterious french website lake council de la vovire i don't know how to pronounce that also japanese spanish portuguese irc okay these are just server details i'll skip them quickly uh 
any other links to visit in this web page the hidden wiki let's see so this many links are there I'll, I'll just close this links because they are taking much time to open let's see the another hidden wiki marketplace financial services easy coin bitcoin wallet no with free bitcoin mixer commercial services selling passports and id cards usa citizenship become a citizen of usa real usa passport okay that's that's kind of um, freaky thing real usa passport cannabis us uk cannabis vendor d dope german weed shop weed and hash from germany uk guns and ammo selling guns and ammo from the uk for bitcoins let me see okay this uk us citizenship we offer bulletproof usa passports assess and driving license and birth certificate and other papers making you an official citizen of us you know as i stated in the very first or previous chapters of this course uh, any type of document is also available of course they are these are fake documents but uh, they cannot be you know detected easily us bank account with online banking and cards uk guns and ammo has also been loaded only 3 e99 and 2 glock 19 left okay glock 19 is around 500 G gbp gbp is i think great britain pound let's see another websites mobile store factory unlock iphones and other smartphones okay selling guns and ammo from the uk for apple for bitcoin you see i stated earlier this was kind of a famous one apple for bitcoin website so this is samsung galaxy s10 with original box and all cables unlocked actually these are factory unlocked phones so they are not at all secured 128 gb okay apples for bitcoins and the loaded pro product iphone xs macbook pro you see these are quite not quite very cheap actually iphone xs 64 gb for 325 us dollars iphone xs 256 gb for 350 us dollars that's it's kind of very cheap let's see another links hosting services file sharing the bomb sheller image hosting paste bins web hosting okay these are just hosting services if you if you want to host a website on the dark web you can blogs blog section is like just random stuff not a particular thing image boards has random darknet alumi b has random darknet technology etc with several non standard board topics i don't know what it's it is but let's open it see email section messaging section chat rooms okay email is quite famous uh let's see proton mail is not there i'll i'll surely open proton mail here in this lecture i think in the previous hidden wiki we visited tor mail okay let's see this one also uh in the previous hidden wiki we visited we we saw proton mail we will open this proton mail actually social networks tor book uh, way to make friends in onion land let me close this links they are see uh, if any link is taking much time to load it's better to close it than wait for it right it can be any type of malware other political advocacy i don't actually know what is political advocacy so i'm so sorry audio video libraries libraries 5.1 gb policy policies drug related okay drug related okay these are just articles oh i'm so sorry tor drug resource tor ton of stuff about drugs also listed in the drugs category so these are just articles about drugs weapon training drugs be here now the not north american laughing buddha folk medical advice from a potter head adult section uncategorized non english italian okay so this website is also not loading actually mm, let's see another links another under so we also visited this hidden wiki uh, of course it's not possible for us to visit all this links but uh, as promised earlier in this lecture after completion of this chapter actually you will be able to access the dark web completely in the next chapter we'll be going to discuss about bitcoins cryptocurrencies etc how to buy them how to sell them how to mine them actually but uh, in this lecture we are going to going to see this links proton mail yes i i told you we will be opening proton mail it's actually it's also found on the surface web you know on the surface web also you can go to protonmail.com for a perfectly secured and anonymous email services it also has a free offer so don't worry about that
whistle blowing lo login proton mail actually i don't have any account on the proton mail so let's see i'll sign up new to proton mail create account so loading actually as as we are again as we are on the dark web it will be slow but what can we do right select your proton mail account type plus no i am going to go for the free one select free pal plan it's like 500 mb storage 150 messages per day what we want more right um prime plus membership okay login loading still okay create your account username and domain password i'm not going to do those things but uh, you can on a soft as well proton mail is very famous actually so yeah another link let's see i think that's it let's see another links if we find an interesting one we'll surely open it okay no one so Thank you very much for watching this lecture. Um, that's it for this lecture. Actually, we visited some really creepy um websites selling all sorts of illegal goods. It was fun. This lecture was just for educational purposes. Again, this lecture was just for educational purposes. Please do not try to buy or do anything illegal on the deep dark web. It can harm you. That's it. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one. Thank you very much. Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about cryptocurrencies. What are they and most importantly, why are they so famous? So let's get started. So what are cryptocurrencies? A cryptocurrency can be called as a digital or virtual money. It's not like virtual money we have in bank accounts, which remains the same excluding the interest we get because there is not much difference. But this virtual money which we are talking about can be traded, sold as well as can be bought for profits. The cryptocurrencies are secured by cryptography which makes them nearly impossible to counterfeit or double spend. Actually the cryptocurrencies are stored in a wallet, not a real one but a virtual one. Now we can also store them in a virtual wallet as we discussed as well as it can it can also be stored in a physical wallet like a pen drive or a CD-ROM which makes them super portable plus as they are encrypted through cryptography it is nearly impossible to just copy it and paste it on some other location it's doubling it so due to cryptography it's nearly impossible to counterfeit them or double them the transaction of bitcoins are implemented using the blockchain technology we discussed about the blockchain technology previously in this course. The deep dark web works on the same blockchain technology. In blockchain technology, the signal from host device is bounced through several servers and is encrypted at each server till it reaches the requested device. Due to this blockchain technology, the cryptocurrencies are impossible to track. On the positive side of the blockchain technology, we can say that all your transactions are anonymous but on the negative side of blockchain technology, the cryptocurrency one transfer, once transferred cannot be returned or claimed back. The main positive points about cryptocurrencies is that they are not issued by any central authority, rendering them theoretically immune to government interference or manipulation. So at it is, as it is stated that cryptocurrencies are not issued by any central authority or any government, due to which it's impossible for the government to keep track of these currencies also as these currencies cannot be tracked it's largely used to convert black money into white money now we will discuss about the main key points about cryptocurrencies a cryptocurrency is a new form of digital asset based on a network that is distributed across a large number of computers this decentralized structure allows them to exist outside the control of governments and central authorities. As we discussed earlier, these cryptocurrencies are not controlled by any government or any third party organization. So they are impossible to track. Also, it's impossible for the governments to keep track of it. That's why they are used in marketplace of the deep dark web, totally anonymous, cannot be tracked. 
The word cryptocurrency is derived from the encryption techniques which are used to secure the network. Actually, the encryption which is used to encrypt these virtual currencies is known as cryptography, due to which its name as cryptocurrency. Fact: The first ever cryptocurrency was made in July 2010, which was Bitcoin, which is also the most expensive cryptocurrency till date. It said that it was developed by Satoshi Nakamoto, who is a Japanese person. Cryptocurrencies face criticism for a number of reasons, including their use for illegal activities, exchange rate volatility, and vulnerabilities for the infrastructure underlying them. However, they have also been praised for their portability, divisibility, inflation resistance, and transparency. Yes, the criticism factor can be seen clearly if we consider the deep dark web, but if we compare them with the positive points. the cryptocurrencies seem to be important talking about its portability factor we already discussed earlier that it can be stored in virtual wallets as well as in physical wallets like pen drive or cd rom thus they are super portable cryptocurrencies divisibility factor is one of its main factors people that have never used cryptocurrencies before might think that they are required to purchase a whole bitcoin to trans- transact with the new form of cryptocurrency however One bitcoin is divisible into hundred million units, and its smallest unit, smallest unit is called a satoshi. So it's not compulsory to buy a full single cryptocurrency, as it may be costly, but you can buy them in parts. That's divisibility. The transparency factor helps in easy, we can say, buying and selling of cryptocurrencies. Why cryptocurrencies? Why actually we are talking this much about cryptocurrencies? and why are they very famous okay for the sake of this question we are only going to talk about bitcoins so first let's talk about its history it was developed by satoshi nakamoto it has high volatility that is its price can go up or down very rapidly it was started in july 2010 its starting price was 8 cents okay that was 2010 but talking about 2020 its price is Sixteen thousand five hundred and sixty-three dollars. That mountain high, twenty million percent increase, and that's not a small value. Let's see its graphical form. So you see, people who have purchased bitcoins for eight cents in two thousand ten have converted these eight cents into sixteen thousand dollars in just ten years. Due to this high volatility factor, the bitcoins are being more famous. and they are investing a loads of money in them fact there are only maximum 21 million bitcoins in the world and today there are around 18.5 million bitcoins in circulation you guys that's it for this lecture we discussed about the origin and the basic points about cryptocurrencies in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrencies see you there thank you very much Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the advantages as well as the disadvantages of cryptocurrencies. So let's get started. Advantages of cryptocurrencies. Let's see. Cryptocurrencies hold the promise of making it easier to transfer funds between two parties without the need of a th- trusted third party like a bank or a credit card company. Yes, the transaction process of cryptocurrencies is pretty easy and convenient. as the transfer is conducted through blockchain technology there is no need of a third party organization like bank or government for secure transfer of this virtual currencies for transferring cryptocurrencies only the public key of a person is required that's it this transfers are instead secured by the use of public keys and private keys and different form of incentive systems like proof of work or proof of stake okay yet in this course we have not discussed about public keys and private keys we are going to discuss them in this lecture but in short we can say that public keys and private keys help in encryption of a bitcoin wallet the private key can be considered as the pin of a bank account and the public key can be considered as the account number thus as public keys and private keys also play a key role in the encryption of a bitcoin wallet and proof of work is an algorithm in the blockchain technology which is used to confirm the transaction and form new blocks to the chain 
fund transfers are completed with minimal processing fees allowing user to avoid the steep fees charged by banks and financial in institutions for wire transfers well as compared to the transfers fees taken by the banks or any other organizations the transfer fee of bitcoins are very low indeed so the transfer of bitcoins is really fast secured and cheap but there is one disadvantage we can say drawback of bitcoin transfers that they can be traced once you send a bitcoin to a particular public key you cannot recover that bitcoin like we can do in the case of bank transfers let's move towards the disadvantages of bitcoins the semi autonomous nature of cryptocurrency transactions make them well suited for a host of illegal activities such as money laundering and tax invasion well the whole dark web works on this drawback as all the payment methods of illegal activities are in the form of bitcoins makes them perfect for scams like money laundering or tax invasion on the other hand the scammers are totally secure as after payment they cannot be tracked but in the of tracking the bitcoins are quite weak some governments have traced the bitcoins and several illegal vendors are caught ethereum is more secured and transaction friendly as compared to bitcoins benefits of privacy like protection for whistleblowers or activities living under the pressure of governments etc some cryptocurrencies are more private than others yeah as we discussed earlier the cryptocurrencies provide more protection to people doing illegal stuff like whistle grower for example these people are responsible for leaking several secret and confiscated data in a company that most probably they are working in to a competitor company for for a sum of money which is usually paid in cryptocurrencies so this is one of the major disadvantages of cryptocurrencies as they protect the people implementing illegal stuff taking the privacy aspect in the consideration bitcoin for instance instance is a relatively poor choice for conducting illegal business online as we discussed earlier the forensic analysis of bitcoin bitcoin blockchain has helped authorities to arrest and prosecute criminals more privacy oriented coins do exist however such as ethereum dash monero or zcash which are far more difficult to trace but still majority of illegal transactions are still implemented in the form of bitcoins that were the advantages and disadvantages of cryptocurrencies let's now get some details about the private key private keys and public keys in the case of cryptocurrencies so what are private keys and what are public keys let's understand that what is a private key a private key also known as a secret key is a variable in cryptocurrencies that is used with an algorithm to encrypt and decrypt code see cryptocurrencies are nothing but blocks of code which are protected by several encryption codes right so secret keys keys are only shared with the keys generator making it highly secure private keys plays an important role in symmetric cryptography asymmetric cryptography and cryptocurrencies we can compare the private key with the pin numbers of a bank account which is meant to kept private with which is not to be shared with anyone also unlike pins and account numbers in bank the private keys and public keys are also responsible to encrypt and decrypt the transactions which are being shared or received public key public key cryptography is a type of cryptography in which both the public keys and private keys are used for encrypting as well as for transfer of cryptocurrencies the private key is meant to be kept private whereas the public key can be shared which is further used as an address for transaction of cryptocurrencies so guys that's it for this lecture we discuss about the advantages as well as the disadvantages of cryptocurrencies plus we also discussed about the private keys and public keys in the next lecture we'll be going to a bitcoin wallet and see the available cryptocurrencies we'll also discuss about bitcoin trading and bitcoin mining see you in the next lecture thank you very much welcome back guys so in this lecture we are going to learn about how to buy cryptocurrencies and we'll be also visiting the online wallets available for storing trading as well as buying these cryptocurrencies so let's head towards our computer screens and visit these websites here we are so we are going to talk about two online cryptocurrency platforms 
which provides services like crypto trading, buying, as well as storing. These platforms are Coinbase.com and Blockchain.com. Both are online crypto wallets. So right now you know what's cryptocurrency, right? But you need to understand the concept behind buying cryptocurrency and how to use it. So in the normal world, we have money, physical money, which we can call fight money. When we store this money in a bank account, we have a bank account, then we are able to pay with our card or something. For cryptocurrencies, this works the pretty same way. So you take your crypto, you buy your cryptocurrency and you store it. You have to store it somewhere so you can store it directly well on your desktop. But that's not the purpose here. Our goal is to have access to it very, very easily. So we are going to use the online wallet that is direct online. So we can store cryptocurrency and use it for trading or selling. It could be a wallet. As I said, uh, it can be stored on a computer directly. It could be a cold storage wallet, which is stored, let's say on a small server or on a small hard drive, which is stored somewhere at your house, right? But once again, we are only going to talk about wallets that are online because they are the safest and the most convenient ways to store cryptocurrencies. These two wallets, which I think very, very useful are very easy to use. I'm not going to use my official trading account for security purposes. So the account which we will be using are just dummy accounts. So these are just example accounts to see a little bit what it is, how it works and why are they very cool to use. So the first one that we are going to visit will be coinbase.com. We are actually currently on that website. So when you get on the website, you will have to create yourself an account. You'll also have to add your email address and security. It's it's very secure because every time you will try to log in, you will receive a OTP. So you'll have to enter your code. So it's very, very secure. So here we are on the on the home page of coinbase.com. So here is the watch list section where all the famous cryptos and the cryptos you have earned are shown on free crypto with coinbase on okay we'll discuss about this section afterwards this is the portfolio section which shows the cryptocurrencies which are owned by you so let's see the portfolio section portfolio balance these are your balance you own cryptocurrencies right your assets actually as this is an uh, dummy account we don't own any cryptocurrency but you see there are many cryptocurrencies listed here invest over time by crypto every day week or month okay prices okay this is the price section which shows price uh, percent change market capacity etc of this list of bitcoins actually if i'm not wrong this this list is of uh, limited bitcoins these are very famous not bitcoin sorry cryptocurrencies these are very famous ones and yeah, you can even you, you can even toggle the time and see the changes. So if we set one hour, Bitcoin changes like 0.86 percent. Ethereum is like 1.22 percent. XRP, Bitcoin Cash. So many of them. One in one hour, there is only Dash, which is in positive side. Let's see the one week section. Bitcoin is a 9% down, Ethereum is 0.09% down. One month, Bitcoin is 23% up. That's that's a huge number if it's as at $16,000, right? Um, so many cryptocurrencies. You can even uh, check the the up market market value here so that you you can estimate which Bitcoin is going to you know progress and which is going to get downwards so there are many ones 250 percent increase in seller lumens yeah year in finance it's twenty two thousand dollars and it has like two thousand percent increase in one year that's that's huge actually you can even buy or sell cryptos but it requires identity so i'm not going to do that you can even receive and send Bitcoins to to email it to enter email or address that's actually your public key notification sections no we don't have any notification yeah 
so let's see the on free crypto section okay on free crypto section so actually coinbase.com gives you or provides you some courses and after completing these courses it rewards you in cryptos right so maker gives how it works and you learn up to six dollars in mkr cello cello learn how it works and you will up to learn you will earn up to six dollars in cello so after completion of this courses you will actually earn you don't have to give any money like in udemy you you provide some money for a particular course but here if you complete this courses they will provide you some some money in form of bitcoins khyber network gives six dollars in kyc orchid doesn't give anything tezos six dollars xyz dai dai is actually quite famous i have heard about it many times dai is famous it also learn how it works and you learn dai it doesn't show how much but zcash is also famous actually actually uh, in transaction if you want totally anonymous transactions zcash is more preferred than bitcoins because it offers more secure transaction services khyber network so let us compound let's see this course compound as it gives 59 dollars that's that's the highest amount price amount so learn compound on comp okay beginner lessons so how it works learn how it works and you learn up to 59 dollars in comp on interest with compound borrowing crypto with compound you can these are just uh, video lectures you can watch them and on that's great you will you will also increase your knowledge use compound with coinbase wallet it will give 10 dollars in comp and 3 dollars in usd so that's that's great actually want more compound in, invite your friends and you learn up to so one four friends and so you invite four friends and you get like 10 comp so that's it for coinbase.com so on crypto we well learning crypto okay maker and so let's let's now visit blockchain.com right and see what's what's its services so welcome back it gives you id okay all right id it's asking for a password actually the my previous account was locked that was also a dummy account so there was no problem actually so this is the dashboard of blockchain.com bitcoin ether bitcoin cash total balance this is a graph of bitcoins actually yes actually also again this is a dummy account so we don't own any of the cryptocurrencies bitcoin ether hey this this graph shows the volatility of of this cryptocurrencies you see in november 1 there was like 500 dollars 513 to 13 831 like 100 dollars gain in the prices of Bit bitcoins that's that's huge see in a month there was 23.74 percent gain and that's that's not less because it's three thousand dollars right the prices of bitcoins have gone up three thousand dollars in just month so that's that it's it's famous because of its volatility actually then if if not volatility what is the difference between stocks and uh this cryptocurrencies so let's see in a day actually fluctuation price prices fluctuation in a day of bitcoins so november 27 it was seventeen thousand dollars and so the lowest is 16 488 and the highest is seventeen thousand one sixty one dollars that's that's a huge see the bitcoin section bitcoin section is like bitcoins are down 9.83 percent this week buy bitcoin now okay ask you some money actually yes dollar zero bitcoins five thousand maximum buy okay five thousand dollars maximum buy so you can't even buy a half bitcoin but half bitcoin is quite huge you can even buy bitcoins ether bitcoin cash stellar usd you can even buy in us currency that's that's great you can even see stocks in usd by ether the price is five hundred and nine dollars. You can even convert 
ether to your money and withdraw it later so yeah you see many things ether bitcoin cash stellar see the dashboard again us dollars even you can uh, invest in dollars euros pounds these are actually cryptocurrencies not stocks but they are also great so total see this is the balance you uh, actually i don't own anything so there is zero but see hardware section um uh, i have not plugged any kind of hardware in here so it's showing zero but if i plug a hardware which contains any kind of bitcoin or any cryptocurrency it will quickly scan and show how much i own right you can also send bitcoin that's that's a great factor actually from bitcoin wallet to you can uh, paste here the public key of the person who you want to send it oh it's it's trying to no okay you can even convert in usd to btc so you don't have to like invest your bitcoins to the person you can donate usd and the person will get it in bitcoins you can even request bitcoins this is my qr code and this is my public address in this address if you want <laughs> don't actually so if anybody wants they can send me bitcoins here i i am not asking i am just telling right so because and buy or sell crypto okay you can buy or sell crypto these are the prices actually you can even borrow borrowing is not allowed this is a new account so it's uh, it ask you to you need to be gold level to benefit from this new offering so you i think you need to give blockchain.com some service or money so they'll give you some external extra service swap your crypto verify your name address start swapping actually the sites requires your ids i i have not given anything so you can even see confirm your email address secure account okay interest yes you can even get your interest 12% annually on a crypto and that's that's large interest actually because uh, many of the banks give like 7% on a cash so that's it for this lecture guys so in this lecture we visited coinbase.com and blockchain.com and in the next lecture i am going to explain you how you can generate these cryptocurrencies through your computer for free yes for free like you don't have to invest money buying this cryptocurrencies but you can get just by your computer for free so let's meet in the next lecture thank you very much see you there hey guys welcome back so in this lecture we are going to discuss about mining cryptocurrencies according to me it's the best way to generate cryptocurrency through minimum investments as these cryptocurrencies are costly we can say that many of us are unable to buy them but through this method we can generate them with a computer and the only charges we need to pay is the electricity bill which is also pretty low as compared to the earnings you can gain through mining cryptocurrencies so what exactly is crypto mining let's see what is crypto mining so we know that all this transfer and security of cryptocurrencies is dependent on the blockchain technology and in blockchain technology there are couple of servers in a network through which cryptocurrencies are transferred for detailed description of blockchain technology you can revisit the how tor works lecture which we discussed previously and we know that higher the number of server higher is the security of this transfers and this servers are set up by cryptocurrency miners so what exactly is crypto mining crypto mining is the process in which you set a cryptocurrency mining rig which mainly consists of some computer parts joined together which helps in transfer of cryptocurrencies by setting a server as well as it provides a major security option for these transfers these miners are paid some transaction fees as well as some mining fees for their services well you cannot set up a blockchain server unless you have a supercomputer but with our normal computers you can join a mining pool actually a mining pool is a network of computers which connected together acts as a server 
so you can easily connect your computer with a mining pool and earn in crypto. Also, some professional miners set a specially designed mining rig for the sole purpose of cryptocurrency mining. We will discuss about this mining rigs later. Cryptocurrency mining is quite famous because you can generate recurring cryptocurrencies with very low investments. Even if you set up a mining rig, the investment options are quite low as compared to the current prices of this cryptocurrencies. So mining is the easiest way of getting passive income in cryptocurrencies. So what is mining rig? What are its components and what is its efficiency? Mining rig. Mining rig is a complete setup of computer components which help in transfer of cryptocurrencies. You can also mine cryptocurrencies with your local computer. The mining rig consists of several parts, but the main components of mining rig are graphic cards as they help in decrypting and encrypting bitcoins while transferring them, but not bitcoins, every cryptocurrency. Thus, higher the number of graphic cards, higher is the efficiency of mining rig and higher are the earnings. Let's see a rig and identify parts using it. So here is a mining rig. The productivity of a mining rig depends on the number of graphical cards attached to it. So here are the main components required for developing a mining rig motherboard. But it should have the capability of linking to a number of connections for graphic cards. Graphic cards, of course, power supply, 250 GB HDD, as an Ether wallet usually takes up to 25 GB and a Bitcoin wallet requires up to 50 GB or more. Internet connection, well, Ethernet connection is more recommended, but a wireless connection will also work fine. And a cooling system as these graphical cards generate a lot of heat. In this figure, we can see a 6 GPU mining rig. 4 or 8 GPU mining rigs are also available. You can also find them on uh, shopping websites like Amazon or you can make them by yourself. That's it for this lecture. We discussed the main points about crypto mining. After this, we are going to start dangers chapter in which we'll discuss about the dangers and their prevention of visiting the deep dark web. So see you there. Thank you very much. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the dangers of visiting the deep dark web. Actually, the deep dark web is a place for criminals and black attackers. Who are black attackers? Well, uh, in simple language, we can say that they are bad hackers, participating in criminal activities, illegal hacking, malwares, and many of them. So let's say in a city, there are 100,000 people. Then out of that 100,000, only 100 would be knowing about the deep dark web, but basically, all the things we discuss in this course. So it's quite risky if you are not following specific protocols or methods before visiting the deep dark web. It's basically like tossing a piece of meat in front of a lion and expecting the lion not to eat the piece of meat, right? So here in this lecture, we are going to talk about the types of threats which can be encountered while we are visiting the deep dark web. We will discuss the safety measures to be taken care of before visiting the deep dark web in the next lecture. Types of threats which can possibly come across you while or after suffering the deep dark web. Malicious software. As we discussed earlier in the deep dark web is filled with criminals and black hat hackers. On the deep dark web, several hackers have specific, specially built a website for hacking purposes. So that when you visit that particular website, the website tries to install something, apparently a small file in the form of cookies or any other medium. That can actually be a malicious software or even an attack script. In some cases, the hackers also gain remote access to your device. In general cases, they lock or encrypt all the computer files and ask for some kind of money or bitcoins to get your files back. So prevention is better than cure. Government monitoring. See, as the majority of the dark web are illegal, there are chances that they are being monitored by the government. Also in several countries, the government keeps tight watch on the dark web for security purposes. Several websites posting some leaked secret national documents or anti-nationalist articles are more likely to be monitored by the government. Also illegal websites, of course. So even if you visit such websites, even if you don't buy or order any kind of stuff, it may be possible that you are monitored by the government. 
in several countries like china mainly republic countries it is more likely to happen by the way visiting the deep dark web is not illegal but visiting some websites which are shortlisted by the government is so better be safe than sorry scams of course the dark web is filled with scammers majority of the websites offering cheap credit or debit cards paypal balance or bitcoin generator or um, amazon gift cards or even hitman services may be scam maybe the person having a hitman service website would be sitting in his garage wearing a pair of boxers and waiting for some fools to drop him free money right so even if you need to buy or avail any kind of service well i don't recommend that always find a trusted seller and as the payment on the dark web are in the form of bitcoins we all know one thing about bitcoins they can be traced or returned hackers we discussed about them in the malicious software section the black hat hackers are always in the trail of someone to attack so stay alert identity theft see wherever there are customers there are sellers even on the dark web there are some legit service providers but not all what do you think where these websites get this credit card or account like paypal accounts or even passwords they claim to create a fake identity of a person from where did they acquire this data it's stolen data for this they organize a cyber attack on somebody obtaining all his data including credit card numbers passport data driving license google accounts so whenever you feel that a website is taking too long to respond or asking you to enable scripts or even asking permission to store cookies immediately close them they might be a threat so in this lecture we discussed about the possible threats which can be faced while you are surfing the deep dark web in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the safety measures which are very important to stay safe from the threats we discussed just now see you there thank you very much hey guys welcome back so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the required security measures that should be taken care of before accessing the deep dark web how to surf safely on the deep dark web well actually to prevent our devices from any kind of malware or any type of leak it can be files leak or location leak the given steps are very important so let's discuss them browser settings actually the tor browser has a quite strong security feature so the first layer of the security is always the tor browser we deeply discussed about the tor security settings and in installing tor sessions previously in this course you need to block any type of script maybe it uh, java or javascript because they play a key role in interaction between the device and the website secondly you need to block the automatically download setting which is default and shift to ask before downloading this can be very useful when device try to install certain files like cookies without asking permissions for it and lastly you need to deny all the services like location or data which the browser asks sometimes it can leak your data and location for more details and practical execution you can rewatch the installing tor video up in the course vpn the tor has an inbuilt vpn it changes your location automatically as you open the browser but several times due to the information required by a particular website this inbuilt vpn feature is breached so for another layer of security it is advised to use a external vpn public wifi Do you know the website uploaders on the deep dark web always uses public Wi-Fi for updating or making any changes to this website? It is essential as your activity can be monitored by the government or any other individual, maybe a hacker. And if you are successful in breaching the Tor security, you can easily caught as you will be using your personal or office Wi-Fi. Once you are detected, the device IP. your location etc everything is leaked so it's not compulsory but it's advisable to use a public wifi while accessing the deep dark web tales the amnesiac incognito live system actually we had a whole lecture on this topic tales is um an operating system installed in a hardware device like pen drive or a cd rom and it comes with all the applications required to access the deep dark web and its main plus point as it does not store any kind of files all the memory used while using tails is executed in the processing unit of the computer due to which whenever you eject the device containing tails all the memory related to the dark web 
is deleted in the computer as well as in the hardware device so it's the safest way so far to access the deep dark web on site notification yes after taking care of all topics on site notifications can breach them all for the websites on the surface web it's common to ask for for cookies or any kind of data usage but in the case of dark web it can be very harmful once you accept the cookies policy of a website it can download and store any malicious file which ultimately invite hackers my advice to you would be that you should use a computer that has no or negligible amount of sensitive data so when when it is hacked or any kind of malware is installed you can just format the device and start over that's the way i use anyway that is for this lecture we are really close to completing this course congratulations you read so far i really hope you enjoyed this course and i request you to give the feedback either it may be positive or negative it will be very helpful for us to further improve this course so that's it thank you very much see you in the next lecture summary in this video we are just going to get a brief summary of what we learned in this entire course so let's get started so what did we actually learn in this course first of all we learned about the deep dark web what is it and why is it hidden um in this lecture we are not going to discuss the points deeply but just the topics we learned we learned the general difference between both the webs their contents and browsers we use to access them tor browser we discussed about the tor browser as you know it is used to access the deep dark web we also discussed about the anonymity factor which keeps tor running and in demand we also discussed about the security measures to be taken care of before accessing the deep dark web in the installing tor lecture blockchain technology it's the way it's the way through which tor browser as well as the bitcoin transfer takes place anonymity of course we discussed about it a lot in this course it actually protects the identity as well as the privacy of a user while surfing on the internet cryptocurrencies cryptocurrencies are digital currencies which can be used for trading or even purchasing on the dark web types and scope well there are many type of cryptocurrencies and they are famous because of their high volatility in the prices we also discussed about mining a bitcoin for free and trading them for profit surfing the dark web well there was that was the fun element of our course we roamed in the dark web visiting visiting some interesting websites and had some fun dangers and their prevention well from a safety view of aspect this was the most important part of our course we discussed about the threats which can be faced while surfing the deep dark web as well as the security measures that should be taken care of while surfing first of all congratulations you completed this course this was a great journey with you hope to see you soon in any other course please do po provide a feedback may it be negative or positive but please guys do provide it it helps us to make this course even better for you guys that's it for this lecture actually this was or is my first course so thank you very much for showing this newbie so much love i and our team will always be thankful for you thank you very 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 much goodbye and see you soon